Hello, uh, thank you everyone for joining this meeting. Um, today's global seminar is presented by Mr. Koshio. Um, I'm an engineer on the Environmental Investigation Project as a service result of the Canadian Corporation and he's also a member of the Canadian Corporation. Uh, that's why I'm studying here today. So uh, I will introduce uh, the uh, couple of things regarding the Mastro uh, Arbitral Seminar. So the, this presentation file is the part of this presentation and the part of this discussion file. The discussion file is based on your question. So uh, feel free to raise your hand if you have any question uh, in this particular. Uh, and for the audience is like seven, uh, you can also raise your hand or comment or in the chat box so that I can find it. And today's This presenter uh, is Will Seiko Shou. He is licensed and registered architect in Japan, Germany, and the ABC. And he's also a German assistant professor uh, in NUF regarding the digital conservation. And he's a general manager of design and global solutions for web computer green computer models. So now the second yours. Okay, today I will address three issues here. I'm the short introduction of myself and the company that I belong to. Short introduction. Uh, talking about Tima is not only Asian countries, but you can find a lot of differences in Europe. While I live in Germany and other European countries, I visited a uh, lot of those buildings. All these cathedrals in Kiev, Ukraine, uh, or any other countries in Europe are made of stones, bricks, and plasters, but at the same time, a lot of timbers or chips. It's an open air museum in Bukas, Romania, Romania. Those timber buildings are often seen in Central East European countries. This is the biggest wooden made in Europe, uh, that is still existing and used. I was in charge of some conservation and restoration projects in Japan and it's a free team. This project in Germany operated in 2000. A lot of timber material are used. What's most interesting is we have in timber made. Uh, cardinals, like this. The old frames are very good. The unitized cardinal walls are uh, planned and used. This is almost the first time for this kind, even in Germany. In the workshop, this way, the elements are processed in good organizing. This project, uh, a hotel complex in Kyoto, features especially natural material in work, landstones. Uh, last one, the stones and earth material. So, a lot of timber and earthen based materials. Started. Two weeks ago, we had uh, students from the Haiti Technical University in the Netherlands, and I was guiding them around the entire total. I used this room for presentation. The building has also a gallery and cozy guest rooms. By the way, the hotel got popularity in the last decade. In booking.com, you can see Fargas some years ago, but now it became very good, unfortunately. Now, uh, some repair works are planned to be taking place this year, so as of next year, the reputation can be regained. For this Korean manufacturer um, in Germany, we also have some timber features. In 30 meter big stand of truss, size of truss, and 54 meter legs. The total area has no column of hips. Just this. And even for public uh, walls and skylights, uh, timber was used. Okay, that was my background image. So here I show Takenaka, uh, the company I have built for 34 weeks. Uh, 
I'm going to have to start their beach business in the early 1600s. The 1870s, the uh, was one of the first builders in Japan to implement Western style of building technology. As you can see, indicated in red, uh, there are a lot of first in Japan, first in Asia projects. So we always wanted to be the first best of the business. These are examples of a timber uh, structure works in the last few years. When talking about timber or wood material, we have solid, like this, which is traditional way, traditional way, or those engineers. Engineering, we call it We call it MET, mass engineer timber, having three different kinds, LVF, CFP, and Google. This all, this all, 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 all of the, them are artificial or rather any manufactured. Elements, which are used for any materials, any elements for you. Uh, since late 1990s, we have started the big scale timber structure on like this, uh, together with renowned architects. This case was in Puerto Rico. This was uh, in Sevilla, which is another one door. And the Hanover, who is our extension, and uh, Sigil Bang. Uh, 2015 in Milano with Matsushi Kitago. Okay, so now let me go through historical views of the works. Uh, this is my hotel in Urume, local prefecture, Kyushu, Japan, which is around 240 years old. As you can see on the right, especially the material exposed to outside have been damaged, but maintained with continuous event. So the first project which I want to show here is for short days, main home, main building, which you can see here. The main hall called as a kondo, meaning golden, they needed to be, need to have intensive innovation works in late 1990s. So we are involved for this innovation. And the building was completed first around 780s. And later on, the shape of the roof has been modified until two webs of the pumped on the top of the don't know if it is. Uh, our project was to demolish the entire building then reassemble everything possible. Okay. 100 years after the last operation. So I go here, the project was entirely dismantling and we accelerated. The last one we there was 100 years ago. Usually those kind of structures, especially national treasure for important ones, are being maintained every 300, 400 years, entire innovation, entire dismantling, we accelerate. And every say 100 long years, they have this model and they new the roof ties are being prepared in the beginning. So the last one was for mainly roofing tiles, but this time entire building has been dismantled and be modeled. The building is such a size, 35 meter with us, uh, 21, 22 meter depth. 16 meter height. As you can see, all these timber elements, section for the main home, all these uh, members have different names, depending on the location and functions. And all these elements of different sizes are located for the particular functions. So, what we did is mainly structural engineering. For this purpose, we have the Entire research and experiment. Uh, after some, after a few centuries, the position of the elements, uh, each of these each items are uh, somehow or deformed. Some are cracked, some are rotated uh, or tilted. 
So all the elements of the building have to be searched. Um, we have the structure engineering and structure proposal. Okay, so even after demolition, dismantled, the whole the uh, foundation is being tested in terms of load carrying. Each element is being tested in such a way we clarified structure characters. Okay, first of all, the main structure in the building has to be removed. The entire building has to be covered to protect everything inside. Then the smart to the sound. From the very top to the middle part, structure elements, then all are the smart to. Okay, while dismantling, there's one some pieces from all these elements here. After laboratory test, it was found out that timber was fell down in the year 781. So therefore, this building may be built in 780s. So clearly, but somehow there is no ADs. So this one thing continued. So all the elements is indicated there uh, this one to move from the place. Very top to the bottom. Then the top. For some such information about the goods prices, the bank and the It's then everything is ready. So dismantled everything. So four years of dismantling has been done. Now we start four years of assembly. Here, a new element has been started to assemble. Okay. Some has been repaired to some heavy decay. Okay. So some parts should be repaired in the way. Then yeah. assembly. Um, some are new parts, some are reinforced, some are some existing materials here are used. Okay. So some new parts are added. Okay. The structure with the reinforcement is a main issue of engineering. So to support these entire buildings, new elements have been okay. planned and installed. So these are new elements to uh, support and be uh, reinforced in their assumption. Okay, roofing, then complete. That's one project. Okay, so next project is the entire integration of all uh, building. There was uh, Sake River, which has 200 year history, and the shop in the it's very old town. Like this. Uh, so, this old town is located in the center of Nagano Prefecture, of high uh, elevation. 1.1 uh, kilometer long of old housings are still preserved this way, and all of these are more than 200 years old. So the project is to renovate entire sake delivery and shop on the stone storage into home. So for that purpose, we have now intensive in investigation and dialogue with existing structures. Okay, so all the existing standards must be checked. Okay. And investigated, uh, there are some three small uh, warehouses, so which are preserved and reused. The one shown on the bar facing the street, main street. <laughs> on the back side, there's a residence area, and some residence, detached residence, and three. Uh, warehouses are there, and all the entire background was so there was existing institutions. So those these are converted into new functions. But before that, uh, together with that, the structural enforcement is taken. Uh, this must be done in the manner which can be removed later. Yes. So all the additions of structural enforcement are possible to be removed later in this. In the way, some uh, steel elements, this, or some 
the private identity to enforce the There was no MEP, so we had to install all the MEPs running works in functions for the purpose of hotel. Uh, so fire protection is okay. Surprisingly, all entire envelope structure has been intact. No other things. So everything has been removed as in as it is. Only the interior was renovated. For this, you know, the entire innovation, we checked, or we have some concept, what to be left, what to be changed, or a combination of left and change. Some uh, change or D to keep us there. Uh, this is the front lobby of the old shop because it's now changing to the small shop and changing to the reception. We kept the entire uh, cabinets. One tatami rooms changing to guest rooms. The uh, old rooms. Changing to guest room, some high courtyard, clean and beans. And such a small street between the uh, warehouses kept and used. So, some are changed drastically. Such uh, four scenes are removed and have big volumes of the guest rooms. But she conventional and hidden house is totally uh, taken out now with the entrance. One, two, it's very small room, changing this way. And this one is a kind of wardrobe, very low skin. We put the lower floors and make some big volumes in, to make it into nice cases. Small office, uh, small uh, wells converted to the nice spa. That's the court here with the warehouse behind it. Changing to just the storehouse changed into large facility. Uh, some, something between leave and change, so let them change. These part have been somehow kept and converted into guest rooms. The storage as well changed into bedrooms. Or this warehouse changed into a bar. It's quite a nice bar. It's a kiln uh, where they live. Uh, Cook the rice material into the uh, preparation for brewing on sake. Sake changing to uh, dining rooms and the bars. Just some old kettle way uh, and you just for this as an exhibition. Small warehouse change into restaurant. Okay, this was uh, opened in 2021 and now being operated fully. Now they are planning to have new extension. Okay, so now new buildings. Oh. Uh, Moen with this special product. And register product, but it's a fire rated timber technology and that's it. Okay. Having some, having some mortar layer outside of the elements, the, yes. So the soil is the used as a structure. Then we have mortar layer, then outer layer for decorations. So the mortar layer can stop any of any a fire to be extended into. Therefore, this is uh, tested as a fire rate this material, two hours and three hours. Okay, okay so so far we have done uh, 30, more than 30 buildings, these technologies. And, uh, yeah, so we are quite advanced leading company in Japan in terms of Timba, middle, high size, high rise buildings. This is the first, my first project used for this point of technology. After 
10 years of research, read some letters, see some situations, but still, okay. And the client is not, wants to maintain properly without using any chemicals. So try to make it natural, natural. This is what's. This is a recent project in Paraju, Tokyo. We use all those uh, external elements only. The main surface is just normal when it was concrete, but we try to feature you know, timber images also. Uh, this is one big size project entirely using that timber materials. It's a flex for the residents using those features. Okay. A 14 story type. Uh, those elements which are colored are using those timber elements. Yes. All these are structural elements and also uh, surface elements featuring that technology. So this is our company so We are showing, we are showcasing those technologies. Okay. In the floor, we use that CMP floor blocks. Each block is quite small. You can handle it very easy. One man can handle one block. You can just find out. It's quite easy to install a worker's uh, This block can be also used as a this way, which is nice. Butterfly shapes. Okay, it's also a recent project, office project in Osaka. There we use such combined hyperstructures utilizing a lot of CFD experiments. Uh, here we use also a carbon like this. It's also a new challenge in Japan. This project is also a uh, uh, institute, training institute of power research. Uh, it's a guest room, stadium. The water guest room can have such timber features as an interior, like this. So all these structural materials can be seen as finished. It's very clean and easy. There's no additional things. A new project in Hokkaido. Small scale, but quite nicely made. Very simple, but nice structure. See? All these structural joints are carefully planned. That's uh, they also have some digital technology utilizing those things too. Creating some signage and other things like French. Other project, office projects, uh, utilizing very small size of timbers, like housing, housing skills. Utilizing double timber with CFDs to frame and make a very light structure, such a way. Looks like a uh, so the whole feeding of all dimensions, but still works as office process. So activity based process. Okay, there's a recent one completed last year, two years ago, in Tokyo. Uh, so in Kinza, uh, the, the lower level, one to three, now you can find others. The amount of thing is uh, 12 stories, which is currently the highest. Now you can see the other score there when you go to Pizza. Uh, this is uh, currently the highest timber structure in Japan. It used to be uh, this five story statue in Toji, Kyoto. That used to be the uh, highest skyscraper timber structure in Japan since a uh, few decades ago. But now this took over the first uh, number one base. Now 51, so three meters is the highest. So this record is now going rapidly. Okay. So the final thing is timber and what is called security and the sustainability. Uh, Takenaka established a new department called Wooden Architecture Promotion Division in the frame of engineering in 2016 to promote all these uh, timber buildings. Uh, I don't know why my colleagues in Japan prefer to call it wood. It's a 
Он дал царю, он дал гвоздь в тени. Ну, и здесь, как пишет. Это пишет об Удом Антиксе, в Москве департамент, Creating Future Forests and City Through Udom English. Uh, as you may know, well, in the world, there are a lot of wooden structures, even bigger, higher than Japan. It's a kind of trend. So, first, they should consider, we should consider wood first. Whatever possible to be done by wood, that is wood, but it's much better than concrete to be for a living position. Uh, so, this is the one in Northern Europe. And other places like Norway and Austria. Those, this one is the highest one till last year. 18 stories and 85 meters. This one 24 stories, but 84 meters. So these are the close to the highest down this case. In America, Canada, uh, there's a similar one. 18 story also. 18 story and 60, 57, 8 meter height uh, in Canada, and 25 stories and 86. That's the highest. Uh, currently, it is the highest. It was completed in July last year. That's the highest. Okay. Uh, why do we have this issue now? Why it's so trendy? Of course, it is for realization of sustainable society, the countermeasure against the climate change and decarbonization. Those would impact, can have a lot of nice features. Uh, absorption of CO2. Uh, this will be decreased once uh, trees are grown up. So that's the point. So trees, once it's grown up, the carbonization uh, absorption of CO2 will be decreased. Therefore, it's better to cut and keep and fix CO2 into the material. So, why not reduce this for other elements, like timber elements for buildings? Then we can, we can start to grow the new plants. We can also absorb CO2 from the environment. So, in a way, we should have some forest based cycle. Grow up, reuse, grow up, reuse. Uh, of course, we know this is some heat sheets. And the rest goes. That's the perception outside of Japan. So in Japan, that trend is just started 10 years ago. But in Europe, it started 20, 30 years ago. So the situation has been pretty different. Uh, at first, timber structures are more expensive. Concrete is very common. It's generally used. It's uh, very commonly uh, used material in the world. Therefore, concrete is much cheaper. Uh, it needs some you know, energy to produce, but still it is cheaper than the uh, timber at that time. But now it's really changed. The wooden structures are less uh, expensive than concrete. It's say 10 plus this. As for uh, weight, it's uh, 30 percent. It's much lighter. The uh, construction time can be shortened goes lighter and easily assembled. And you may not need to have additional finishes here. So some of those some good features, the human has, therefore, we need to use more. Uh, you may know this building, it's a Google under construction, will be completed next year. Okay. So we will have got in London for such a political scale and acid rich. Price 2024 is up and such in this way. So it's a big trend in the world. In Japan, we have started that trend. Not only Japan, Hakenaka, but other contractors like Obayashi, Shimizu, and Kajima, they also started. But in terms of numbers, at height and volumes, we are leading the leading. Uh, that's the original target of CO2 reduction. Uh, in terms of price and limit. Our target originally was 26 reduction until 2030, and 80 percent reduction until 2050. But in 2020, we changed into this way. 
uh, father in action has been promised by the prime minister at the time, so then until 2050, we try to achieve 100% action. Since we have more and more room for it to source, this can be this can mean as a minus as to uh, stop Japan is not growing. The natural natural forest is growing this way. And nowadays it's more than five billion cubic that is a stop forest. Uh, this is the amount of food supply, self sufficient ratio, what we in the last decades. It was almost 100% uh, until 1955 or 1960s, but the ratio is decreased a lot and using imported materials. Um, the worst situation was 18 or 8%. It's a now we are recovering. And we are having, say, 41% of ratio of safety substance. So it will be grown up. Uh, those are the building sites. So lower buildings, middle size, higher buildings. Most of these buildings are housing. They, they use non wood and wood. So from the very, from a long time ago, housing is mainly used. Timbers, but other buildings like middle size and higher size, no timber was used, no wood was used. So, this should be a target. So, we should try to change these buildings into wood. We should consider wooden ice or timber ice to have these buildings. Uh, why it was so rare? Because of fire. Fire protection law it was in 1950. Restriction of height and scale was limited, especially in the city areas. We are prohibited to have team bus there. But later, when the state has been changed, since 1987, you should prove once you prove the protection or fire deterrence of the team bar, you are allowed to use team bus. So now the situation has been changed. The regulation has been changed. So we are not use more numbers of things. Uh, this one kind is under no solutions will be ready in 2026. Further hires this one the engineering started to build I started to uh, construct by the end of next year it's now under progress under design okay, designed by visionary by friends of yeah we are assisting that engineer We need to think about this forest cycle, not only forest cycle, but forest ground cycle. Not only for itself, we should try to make use of all the materials to circulate and have more effect in the end. So, not only using the material into buildings, we should try to consider how to maintain the materials and how to be used. How to degrade and to use. So this is one example. The one we just I just showed uh, has a community level activities having that uh, our generation using the timber. There are forests around around this village, and we have built that as a power generator. And try to use the all these old and the uh, unused timber materials for the first first of generation. Skip it. Uh, this is one recent examples of this kind of forest site. I want to show them later in a bit of time. Uh, anyway, not only using the materials, we we looked into the forests, how to cut, how to bring, how to prepare, uh, prepare for bring. So these are, are considered as a cycle. Okay. So I then I will show you. This is a recent project in Sing, uh MTU, the World Asian Biggest Infrastructures, then Kaiser. 
膝にかかってくると、なんか泣けなくなって、早くエンジニアに行くことです。In the same system and group, we completed this reading just last year, also having such a strong feature of the case. Okay, last week, one minute more. I want to show a story about this museum. Kanaka is the only one company who has a carpentry to this museum in Kobe. We use, of course, intensive Dima elements. When, um, it exhibits for the carpentry tools and the history of all this collection. So you, can also, you can also feel the surface of the timber materials. You can even feel the fragrance of the timber. You can also see all these uh, historical use of timber materials compositions. Uh, by the way, we have some, let's say, travel kit at the museum, which will go around the world. This is 2014, where we exhibit in Harvard University. Now this exhibition kit is going around the world. Last year it was in Poland, and this year in Paris. So in a way, we are trying to promote Timber usage and tradition of timber in Japan. So, this museum is, by the way, the first must visit museum in Kobe, uh, according to three partners. If you have time to go there, please try not to miss this. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Any questions? A comment for your presentation, Mr. Mm -hmm. Lodge. Uh, thank you. Sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kojiu, for your great presentation. Um, I mean, most of them, the slides were very great, and uh, getting to see all the projects and questions I asked in some of these very interesting. Um, I was very really interested in the forest plan cycle that you're talking about. Um, so my question is um, both contextual and kind of specific to Japan and other. Um, so it's about implementing the plan cycle and making everything more circular so economy and stuff. Um, there are certain, I mean, obviously there are to make it more economically viable uh, to push, you know, industry and companies to to. Uh, Go for and implement this. Uh, what what do you see as the pain points or the points where you know the, the real challenges in in Japan and other cities? So the my question, if you go to us, but you should. Um, I think you want to explain. Yeah. Uh, you mean to 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 scale. Scale this idea, yes, or to make it viable for yes. any other persons. What is a clue to consider? Would be I think to be say so there. Sometimes. Yes, uh, I don't know. We are trying to have such a scale up. We're trying to get more collaborators, supporters of this kind of philosophy. Why, yes, simply it looks good, simply it looks good. So once we explain somebody, then they will understand. But they have not seen any of these. So they try to see the evidence. So they're trying to show some evidences as a real material, real buildings. Once they feel which is nice, then they can understand and they can disseminate the others. So that's the only way you can try to promote. Do you feel like that's the biggest challenge in your process so far? That you're not sure when you're getting stakeholders or uh, it doesn't stay for those, of course, we're not doing this alone. We are in the meetings, Sumiko Morito, which is a forest company. She's been making, she's been producing timber materials in Japan. Uh, there are also some discussion in Indonesia, some collaborative English. So, in the way, we are trying to have more chances to use those materials, not only in old forestry, but in the other. Say in the long run for us as well. So it's on the way. Find the more. So the answer to the question. Thank you. Uh, 
Thank you for the presentation. My question came about when you said that wooden structures would be lighter, timber structures would be lighter, and that immediately seemed a bit counterintuitive because one thinks that if you take a, in terms of the spanning ability, if you take a solid section of uh, that of steel, uh, one assumes that steel is more uh, material efficient in the sense that a lighter, uh, at least a, a lesser mark of steel can span a longer. Like our perception would be that, for example, if we see the traditional structure, we're using solid section. Yeah. And uh, compared to that, uh, a much lighter scheme member might be able to stand the same length. Oh. Uh, and if one is to do the same thing in wood, then so this is one part of the question. I, I, I'm not aware of how. Uh, that is negotiated. The second part is that. Uh, so, a solid section of timber uh, would require a larger depth, I assume, in order to span the same, uh, to have the same spanning length as uh, the, that span to be achieved in a, with a timber member, uh, sorry, with a steel member. So comparison to see, uh, because that's the that's the comparison that I think one automatically makes that is it is it more efficient than steel. Uh, and when it comes to uh, not solid section but more complex assemblies, like for example, when you get into a steel frame or something like that with timber members, uh, then there is probably the challenge of uh, timber being a organic material and that's precision is tougher. To, uh, to get and that complicates the process. So I wonder, like from your experience, for you having designed all of these, if you have comments for those. Uh, just before this, try to this is this doesn't look like so light to me. <laughs> yeah. So this element, if you make it in steel, it can be a bit less damaging. So. If you just compare some sizes, of course, steel is more effective. But if you compare with complex structures, say just normal span, okay, eight meter, ten meter span of the buildings, the beam height of concrete is eighty to eighty centimeters. Whereas the timber it can be similarly less than sixty to seventy centimeters. So it looks like actually actually pretty different, far less than concrete. So it's not a comparison. So steel, yes, it's light in terms of some usage of its hands, but you need to produce in the factory using heavy powers. A lot of material has to be imported from somewhere, process all these things to make it into steel material. So if you consider all the process of the material, it's not much heavier to repair the material. So even if it's lighter, but the, the course of the preparation is quite heavy or quite complicated and brings uh, less uh, echo frame. So the most important thing is not to use the locally purchasable material local way, but not to transport too much food, but try to have it somehow in the areas. So this is especially the case of the uh, That project. Uh, so this one as well. All these are Hokkaido. They purchase all the material nearby. But in this case, this one the MET, must engineer the MET. In Hokkaido, there was no such fund. We have to transport to Aomori prefecture, then return to Hokkaido. It was not that nice. So in for this project, they made all these timber lighter and very solid scale and smaller scales, like house. And all these materials are purchased near, just close to the city. So in a way, we try to have a, the most smartest way to purchase the material, to use the material into the right place, right place. So I think that's the goal of all aspects. Thank you.
Thank you. I think for our presentation, I have very significant for me with the webinar background. Uh, I have a question relating to earthquake. I always thought that uh, there are a lot of earthquake in Japan, and I guess the building code and review and update every day of the update. And now the reinforced countries have the most uh, common building type because concrete can. Uh, it has the benefit to receive uh, to take more compacted boards and still can take more tension boards. And I think in uh, last two decades, is still reinforced and more popular. And I wonder uh, how does the characteristics of wooden uh, structure there with the the, the reverse hungry or steel or steel is more hungry and Normally, I, I guess uh, for, for them to update the code, they will to uh, they will uh, be very based on the damage from the major earthquake happening that day or the experiment simulation. But uh, do people do the same thing for uh, wooden structure? And it, it, it is also the same for to, to do, I mean, to evaluate the modern one and the old one. That already have less control in terms of their materials and uh, the, how, how they build it in the beginning. Yeah. Quite a wide range of issues. Uh, all the structures have to be maintained and reinforced all the time to fire a seismic, anti seismic code is one of the most That's the case. So to meet up with the new requirements, the old structure has to be somehow maintained or reinforced in some ways. There are some ways of reinforcement. Uh, there are some nicer way or less elegant way. So we have to choose the let's say better way or nicer way. So this is one of the one key thing to better way. Say. Uh, And so, all the time there was no such strong bearing movement. So, we can try to put the new elements as so a bearing. Usually, we have steepers, very heavy steepers, or concrete, which can close the gaps. Instead of those things, we can try to have these solutions using timber. And you can even bring the human beings, you can just bring it at the time. It's a lot easier solution of this kind of reinforcement. So to reinforce something, uh, not sticking into such old style of reinforcement, not old style material like steel or concrete, we can change our mind to use this new way. It's even nicer and elegant. So such so one can address to this structural reinforcement. And uh, so structural frameworks for say difficulties of the environment which should be solved of the connection technologies. So all the uh, column elements and beam elements have to be connected. The connection should be firm, but still it should look nice. Because if you see the steel elements there, then you see, oh, that's not important, that's not weird. Really so we have a lot of this uh, idea how to fix this connection. So therefore, uh, all the designers, like police, have been have been searching all these uh, say technologies and we propose some new way of fixations, not to see from outside, but structurally very far. So in a way you don't see anything as well. Yeah. Just quite nicely made in this but some other design, how you can carefully make that part of time. It's structurally uh, good enough, and aesthetically nice. In a way, designer has to consider how to do this. Does it answer? I think I need some point over here. Yeah, yeah um, uh, well, I had, uh, one, one of my questions was to um, how, how does it, uh, I mean, replace the 
benefits of using those country events still. Okay, this can it be can it give both compassion boards and both engine boards? Uh, uh, okay, so concrete has been used more than two thousand years or so Roman age they use concrete, but reinforced concrete is quite new uh, modern in the conditions like hundred years old. So the combination of speed and pass and the complete is a good quite good in this uh, invention. It's quite practical, right? It's uh, effective. But it requires to have steel bars, we have to have homeworks to make it of concrete elements. So homework should be demolished and this be searched. So it's all related to the waste and the energy consumption to make all these materials. Instead of using concrete and reinforcement, whatever, homeworks, you can just have this timber materials, which is used at least. It is used almost at least. So it can save a lot of energy to prepare such materials. Recently, um, in the coming years, they have uh, CO2 tax, especially for such building materials, concrete, so on, which produce what it to do. So the situation will be changed drastically in the coming years. Not to use so much concrete, not to demolish concrete buildings, just waste, yes. Try to use all these existing structures and just to add some timber like the this. So, in such a way, you should try to change your mind not to use such uh, so environmentally uh, unfriendly material, not to use so much, and try to have similar uh, structure feature. To other, into, uh, with other, other methods, with other materials. So far, Facebook was quite well designed, quite <laughs> well uh, used commonly in the world. They always watch. But it produces a lot of CQ, which means we should try to change our mindsets, not to use so much, but to try to use some other materials, which does not produce mostly. It's a tool, which is right. It's a challenge. Those concrete has been used a lot all over the world. Uh, I didn't have a question, and thank you for the lovely presentation. But perhaps first, we could look at the chat, and I also see that there's a couple of people online. Um, so I'll pass it in first. So, uh, I have a question from the audience by Anderson. So, this question is uh, Is there a difficulty convincing the project clients or the project stakeholders to use recycled timber materials or recycled materials and how steel bars are going to keep our interest? It's difficult to convince the client. Yes, it is. It's easy. It's all difficult. Yes, everything, everybody is uh, afraid of red or big color. And it is so, it's natural. Well, there's a red, there's a color. Therefore, it has some, some, some uh, effort to try to convince the client. For example, this one. We have here externally uh, one more layer added, which can be replaced once it is weathered and damaged. So the structural part is there, but the surface, like two sections, that can be replaced. That's one of the layers. And because people must be maintained. This one, uh, we know all these will be. Uh, the color will be changed soon. So we could be uh, replacing all the color sample having the, uh, the weather test. So we say from this color to this color, the whole color will be changed this way. But that's the result. That won't be so bad. So in the way we propose, in the worst case, this color may be like this, like gray color, fresh color. In the best case, not so much. So we show such color uh, the chart having the, uh, having the test accelerate the direction when we show that 
have something. So in a way, you try to try to tell clients to leave this function, which is okay. It's always a test. Thank you. Thank you, people, for this information and being here for the patient. So, I have a background. And can you share a little bit more your insights or comments regarding the, like how this creative approach is looking under the context of now, like when where we have uh, new technology? New construction technology and new way still with the wall and new way still with the timber structure. And then in, in this context, how we see the timber building design. And also you have you show the third uh, demonstration of that uh, high building. And also so because for me, for example, in the old time, people really we in Japan, there are a lot of like fancy amazing uh, timber buildings with uh, that, that like people use the techniques at that time, which is and then build that, uh, and then build that building in that way as art of the combination of design and structure and the beauty and so on, which makes it as art and so as now, then now we have the technology regarding the, 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 the mindset and technology regarding the structure and materials and, and so on. Then, how well, can you like share your comments regarding then will be the crucial parts uh, to consider the, the say, important timber building in the temple? Yeah, it's very difficult. So yes, we started to learn those timber structures in Japan, importing from China. Recently. Those elements, compositions of the timber, have been evolved in the course of long years of tradition of team usage. It, it is associated with this also how you can answer beautiful and also not only beautiful but also economical and uh, practical. So in a way all our ancestors are saying how to use it. Let's use. So the how to utilize the material is always important and should be practical. So therefore uh, while when we have more material than in part, of course we started to use steam and steam steel steam trust just to reinforce the big even 100 years ago, we started to like this. So we did. Since we have a lot of more, a lot of more uh, materials in space, we are concerned how to combine. Yeah. High print structures using a conventional concrete bar and even steel elements, and also the seismic isolation numbers. Having the uh, old price grade effect less, almost done. Then the older structures are quite high. And there we use timber for the best use, most visible one. So we don't have to have fully timber to use since we have a lot of materials, but we should try to use less concrete and less steel while making more use of timber or the recycled materials. So we should consider some good combination of the materials and structures, hybrid That's a new way of thinking of structure design, maybe. And um, this can contribute also the aesthetic part of the building. So this giant is also a very of key, whether it is here. So we did not, not expose here for the office part. But on the uh, ground floor, we showed some timber, which can be easily maintained. So, in a way, we consider where to use the best use of uh, combination of the So, yeah, always have to propose something new, something good, something frank.
I have a very similar question. <laughs> um, but I'll, I want to phrase it slightly differently, uh, but they're, I think they're related. Out of these, because you show beautiful examples of all buildings being adapted, being painstakingly disassembled and reassembled. Out of these new buildings, which will be the ones that in 200 years will be disassembled and reassembled? What's, what, what will determine that? Yeah, that's a problem. So, quite difficult to dismantle such kind of buildings. Very difficult. Uh, but it is quite easy to dismantle such kind of structures as I should dismantle. It's quite easy. There is no force here, just a structure, visible, exposed. It's very, very easy to dismantle and reuse all the materials. So it is one way of thinking how to how to make the building recyclable. So which means we should try to reduce only adding elements, just for decoration material. We should try to expose all the material, easy to touch, easy to accept. Then yeah. Also, the size of these elements should be unitized or modularized, so that we can use this for other purposes. It's quite traditional way of thinking in Japan. All the material in the materials, atomic chroma, are all okay, modularized. We can use for other purposes. So, yeah, I want to use again and again. That's a way to And you all this? Thank you. My question is quite simple. Um, <laughs> but there was a couple of hierarchy I was also quite curious as to what was the, I mean, is it like a historical movie for the long term conservation sort of plan for these um, structures? Because they're just hybrid structures. So with the wooden elements I mentioned, as, and you mentioned as a modularity to it. But what about the, like, the seismic foundations, the non wooden components? How do you, are those similarly non -wooden? Um, yeah, you mean the some other materials that timber can be disassembled? Yeah, like can they be similarly disassembled and encased? Or... Yeah. Uh, mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so these are elastic uh, rubber materials, which is purposely repaired, purposely designed. So it's quite difficult to be used for other But <laughs> the point is <laughs> with these functions, we can reduce a lot of those elements by hand. That's what they can be done. So, do you, do you know the isolation? Seismic isolation. To, pro, to have a to seismic resistant building, there are three ways. One is just a strong building, very resistant, very difficult, very hard building, strong in easiest way, and the traditional. The second way is to control the building, have some dampers or some, let's say, a counterweight to balance the way the It's a choice. This is isolation. The power law systems, which is isolated, the sediment effect to the buildings. So with this isolator, you don't have the uh, moving on the above structures. So this isolation isolates the earth shaking, not to uh, not to transmit to the building. Therefore, this can be much, much lighter. It doesn't have to consider so much about this uh, horizontal. It's not my I don't want to be needed. So, uh, to make the building lighter is always nice. Lighter is always economical uh, in terms of the you know, material cost, because inside it is lighter is always nice. Um, to make it lighter, uh, Japan has something different because of the scope, because of such shaping load. Need to consider such horizontal much, much, much bigger than we, or twice or three times bigger than we. Therefore, all the structure in it will be bigger and stronger compared to the single bodies. There's no assumption. So, all these elements will be thicker and thicker, usually. But to avoid the situation, we can consider isolation. So, that we don't have to have such very strong, rigid structure. So it's all technology, how to save material, save the entire energy to produce units. So. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Beauty Falls, nicht zu meinen Möglichkeiten, aber es ist ein Gameplayer. Ja, wie so zwei Gamer da haben wir auch noch ein Wunderbarer Player. Aber ich sage, das ist Deutsch, aber ich sage, ich habe nicht mehr mal Karriere. Du bist der Kopf. Gut, wir schauen. Das ist ein guter Bewegung. Das ist ein guter Bewegung. Well, this is an example after you burn out, after burn the service. So, when would a compose with such a motor layer which can stop fire exactly you can stop it. but after the fire the surface will be such a way yeah but it exists it's strong enough still without that layer it is strong enough because this inner element core element is only that element of structure so the question is can we keep it up then it's just <laughs> frustrating for this way to think so the question is, can we place the stars into the human? Yes. It's very complicated, but it's possible. It's possible. Yes. So that's the bigger thing that is this. All timber structures in timber are made for, according to Euro, European norms. The concept is different. This European norms allows to have fire, but charcoal doesn't go into the one millimeter per day. That's one second. So if you want to have two hours fire rate, you need to have 70 something millimeter thicker than the real, real core. So it's just thicker. But once you get fire rate, it'll be burned out. It's like only covered by a which cannot be replaced. So, uh, thanks to this water layer, we can replace and get the amount. That's possible. That's complicated. That's only complicated, but, but that's possible. Therefore, we want to try to promote more. This is a safe in terms of fire. So, especially some important things like hospitals or schools, okay, some important things for the for the occupants, occupants there. We can try to have such stronger safety, but more safety. Uh, that's not really much. Yeah, <laughs> probably can work. Can work well. yes, but if you want to try to use more, but then you have to solve that goes. Yeah. We solve it to some extent. Yes. <laughs> so it's time to also or you talk more than she can ask me personal practice. Yeah, so this is all uh beautiful presentation and the discussions. Thank you very much.